Thanks for clicking on this video guys and before we get into today's video I just wanted to say I appreciate all the support on my last video go ahead and uh, use up the comment section like you did on the last video on this one and let's get right into this video. Yo guys what is going on Stallion Provi here and today I have another uh, let's like kind of talk video and today we're going to be discussing Call of Duty 2016 also known as Infinite Warfare. Everybody already knows this by now, pretty much all YouTubers that upload Call of Duty videos have already discussed this, but I've just been waiting um, to make sure that I have the right time to do it. And uh, today's the day that we're going to be talking about Infinite Warfare. Now, uh, Infinite Warfare um, was revealed um, about a week and a half ago, a week ago, I don't know, somewhere around there. Uh, but we're going to be discussing all about it in this video, so uh, let's get right into it right now. So Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, is it good? Is it bad? Nobody really knows right now, uh, everything's kind of just up in the air. Is it what we wanted for Call of Duty 2016? No, it's not. I'm just going to flat out say it right now, it's not what the Call of Duty community was looking for. We were looking for a World War II, World War I, boots on the ground themed game, classic Call of Duty, World at War, Modern Warfare, era. That's not what we got. We're getting um, the complete opposite. Actually, we're getting another advanced game, not boots on the ground, very advanced movement system, and it's going to be taking place outer space. Is this what everybody wanted? No, it's not, like I said a minute ago. It's not what we wanted, but it's what we're getting, and there's really no way around it right now. Um, you have to consider some things. They started working on this game pretty much immediately after Ghost came out. So they were looking ahead in how the future of Call of Duty was going. Infinite Warfare came out, Advanced Movement System. Black Ops 3 follows Advanced, War Advanced Warfare with an Advanced Movement System, just a better, more improved, more controllable, uh, user friend a more user-friendly Advanced Movement System um, in Black Ops 3, which I actually like the movement system in Black Ops 3. I think it's very good. Um, the Advanced Mo Warfare movement system was just absolutely terrible. It was... Advanced Warfare was just the worst game ever. People say Call of Duty Ghost was the worst game ever. I beg to differ. Advanced Warfare was the worst game ever. I'm sorry. It just was. But anyway, Infinite Warfare is not going to be boots on the ground. As far as we know, you know, multiple sources are telling us that it's not going to be boots on the ground. And we can pretty much just assume that because it's outer space. On the cover of the game, there's a spaceship and a the main character is holding a space helmet. The game is outer space. And, uh, yeah. So, like I was saying before, they started working on this game immediately after Ghost came out. They saw, they saw the way Call of Duty was headed and the future of Call of Duty. Now, we come along two years later after they already start working on this game and developing it. And we're like, you know, we're done with the advanced movement system. We want a boots on the ground World War II era game. Now they just put all this work into this game. They're not just going to stop because the community wants something else. No, they're not going to do that. They're going to continue working on their game. This is how I think everything's happening. Everybody has their own opinion, but I think they just started working on this game so early that they were just working in the move working towards the future of Call of Duty and that was advanced movement systems because they were we're working in the future. And that's not what we want no more, and they're not just going to change it halfway through developing a whole brand new Call of Duty game just because the community says we want boots on that ground. Now, this could be why they decided to release COD 4 Remastered with the game. They could say, you know what, we're not going to completely rearrange our game that we created just because uh, the community doesn't want an advanced movement system Call of Duty and they want boots on the ground, so here's what we'll do. We'll remaster our first game that went over really well and people say sparked multiplayer and sparked Call of Duty period and we'll remaster that and give you that. There you go, boots on the ground, just what you want, modern warfare, you know, World War era. That's what you guys wanted. That could be why they released COD 4. It could also be because they're doubting Infinite Warfare because I'm sure that they are doubting Infinite Warfare because look at the trailer for Infinite Warfare that we got. Look at the gameplay trailer for Infinite Warfare. Do you guys see the amount of dislikes? We are over a million dislikes. I think we're even at 2 million dislikes. It is insane. The community is disapproving this game so bad it's not even funny. But 
It is what it is. It's not going to change. At least we're getting COD 4 Remastered. I'm so happy for that. Just think about it. Come November 4th when the game comes out, I'm going to have two brand new Call of Duties to upload to YouTube. As well as all the other COD YouTubers are going to have those two brand new COD games to upload to YouTube. We're going to have multiple games of Call of Duty to upload. So, it's really cool that we're getting COD 4 Remastered. I'm so excited for it. Like, so excited. But... Um, so yeah, at least we're getting COD 4 Remastered, it might not be what Infinite Warfare, you know, Infinite Warfare might not be what we wanted, but at least we're getting something to the aspect of what we wanted, and I think that's why they're doing the COD 4 Remastered, honestly. But, uh, some other things to consider, Battlefield 1, aka the Call of Duty Killer, isn't really gonna kill Call of Duty, it's not gonna totally kill it, but it's definitely gonna steal sales from Call of Duty. Uh, Infinity Ward and Activision are going to lose a lot of money from people that former, formerly, I think that's a word, formerly played Call of Duty. They're going to switch to Battlefield 1 because it's what the COD community wanted. It's a World at War, not World at War, World War 1, World War 2, I guess World at War themed game, shooter. And Battlefield's a good game, you know, I've never really played it, but everybody loves Battlefield. I've seen gameplay of Battlefield, it looks great, I just never got around to trying it out. Um, but I'm definitely going to buy Battlefield 1, and I'm going to upload gameplay on that too. We're going to give Battlefield a shot this year, it looks pretty cool, and it's what we wanted. That's you, This is what I mean, you know, Battlefield is going to gain so much more uh, players and money because of this whole Infinite Warfare thing. But... It's all really up in the air right now. I'm not saying Infinite Warfare is a bad game. We've seen literally like a two minute, not even trailer for it. And you can't really judge a game just by that. Uh, people might really like it. I know it's not what we wanted, but that's what we're getting. So I'm just going to make the best of it and I'm going to play the game. People say they're not going to buy it. Those people are liars. You're going to buy the game and you're going to play it. You know you're going to play it. But other than that, guys, there you guys have it. My thoughts and discussion of COD 2016 or Infinite Warfare. Once we get uh, some more information on COD 2016 Infinite Warfare, and once we get another trailer, I might do a live reaction to the next multiplayer trailer or something, um, or if we get a confirmed beta, there's rumors of the beta, but until then, that's all I have for today, and until next time, Stallion Pro V is out.